financial sector. Our reforms in the financial sector and innovative use of technology have led to financial inclusion at scale, better and faster service delivery, ease of access to credit and participation in financial markets. This budget proposes to further these measures. Credit guarantee for MSMEs. Last year, I proposed revamping of the credit guarantee scheme for the MSMEs. I am happy to announce that the revamped scheme will take effect from 1st April 2023 through infusion of 9,000 crores in the corpus. This will enable additional collateral free guaranteed credit of 2 lakh crores of rupees. Further, the cost of credit will be reduced by about 1%. A national financial information registry will be set up to serve as a central repository of financial and ancillary information. This will facilitate efficient flow of credit, promote financial inclusion, and foster financial stability. A new legislative framework will govern this credit public infrastructure and will be designed in consultation with the RBI. To meet the needs of Amritkal and to facilitate optimum regulation in the financial sector, public consultation as necessary and feasible will be brought to the process of regulation making and issuing subsidiary directions. To simplify, to ease, and to reduce cost of compliance, financial sector regulators will be requested to carry out a comprehensive review of existing regulations. For this, they will consider suggestions from public and regulated entities. Time limits to decide the application under various regulations will also be laid down. Honorable Speaker, sir, to enhance business activities in gift IFSC, the following measures will be taken. Delegating powers under the SCZ Act to the IFSCA to avoid dual regulation. Setting up a single window IT system for registration and approval of IFSCA, SCZ authorities, GSTN, RBI, SEBI, and IRDAI. Permitting acquisition, permitting acquisition financing by IFSC banking units of foreign banks. Establishing a subsidiary of Exim Bank for trade refinancing. Amending IFSC Act for statutory provisions for arbitration, ancillary services, and avoiding dual regulation under the SCZ Act, and recognizing offshore derivative instruments as valid contracts. Honorable Speaker, sir, Data Embassy, for countries looking for digital continuity solutions, we will facil facilitate setting up of their data embassies in gift IFSC. Improving governance and investor protection in banking sector. To improve bank governance and enhance investors' protection, certain amendments to the Banking Regulation Act, the Bank Banking Companies Act, and the Reserve Bank of India Act are being proposed. <coughs> Capacity building in securities market. Honorable Sp Speaker, sir, to build capacity of functionaries and professionals in the securities market, SEBI will be empowered to develop, regulate, maintain, and enforce norms and standards for education in the National Institute of Securities Markets and to recognize award of degrees, diplomas, and certificates. A central data processing, a central processing center a central processing center will be set up for faster response to companies through centralized handling of various forms filed with field officers under the Companies Act. 
reclaiming of shares and dividends for investors to reclaim unclaimed shares and unpaid dividends from the investor education and protection fund authority with ease from the investor education and protection fund authority with ease an integrated it portal will be established digital payments continue to find wide acceptance in 2022 they show an increase of 76 percent in transaction and 91 percent in value fiscal support for this digital public infrastructure will continue in 2023-2024 azadi ka amrit mahotsav mahila samman bachat patra for commemorating azadi ka amrit mahotsav a one time new small savings scheme mahila samman savings patra or savings certificate mahila samman savings certificate will be made available for a two year period up to march 2025 this will offer deposit facility up to 2 lakh in the name of a woman or girls for a tenor of two years at fixed interest rate of 7.5 percent with partial withdrawal option senior citizens the maximum deposit limit for senior citizen savings scheme will be enhanced from 15 lakh to 30 lakhs of rupees. The maximum deposit limit for monthly income account scheme will be enhanced from 4.5 lakh to 9 lakh for single account and from 9 lakh to 15 lakh for joint account. Honorable Speaker, sir, fiscal management. 50 years interest-free loan to states. The entire 50-year loan to states has to be spent on capital expenditure within 2023-24. Most of this will be at the discretion of the states, but a part will be conditional on states increasing their actual capital expenditure. Parts of the outlay will also be linked to or allocated for the following purposes. Scrapping old garment vehicles, urban planning reforms and actions, financing reforms in urban local bodies to make them credit worthy for municipal bonds, housing for police personnel above or as part of the police station, constructing unity malls, children and adolescent libraries and digital infrastructure and state share of capital expenditure of central schemes. Honorable Speaker, sir, fiscal deficit of states. States will be allowed a fiscal deficit of 3.5% of GSDP, of which 0.5% will be tied to power sector reforms. Revised estimates 2022 to 2023. The revised estimate, Honorable Speaker, sir, of the total receipts other than borrowing is 24.3 lakh crores, of which the net, net tax receipts are 20.9 lakh crores. The revised estimate of the total expenditure is 41.9 lakh crores of rupees of which the capital expenditure is about 7.3 lakh 